Hello and welcome back. So what I want to do next is use Qiskit, which is a quantum computing software package to simulate some of the concepts we've uh, learned so far. And you re really don't need to watch this video to follow this series on, on the density matrix and mixed states. But the reason I think this is important is because as systems get larger and larger, it becomes harder to analyze them, you know, just with pen and paper. So uh, relying on a simulator becomes important. So what I want to do is just go over uh, first a simple example uh, where we have, uh, let's say, um, you know, a two qubit system. So let's say we have Q1, Q0, and uh, we have an ideal circuit. So, so here we have, you know, a Hallamar gate and then uh, a CNOT gate, right? And what this is going to, to do is, is it gonna entangle our qubits, right? And now to make it a little bit more interesting, let's say that we initialize this qubit one on state zero and we initialize qubit zero on state one, right? And I'm not gonna go through the math here, but uh, you know, at the output, what we're gonna get is a state, let's call it psi one equal to one over root two, zero one plus one zero, which uh, has a density matrix of the form, you know, we, we know that for a pure state, uh, we just take the outer product of that state with itself and we get one over two, uh, zero, 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 one, one, zero, zero, one, one, zero, 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 zero. So let's go ahead and, and try to build this circuit in Qiskit and see how we can extract this, this density matrix. And again, this is an ideal circuit, so, so there's no, no mixed states uh, here, right? So if you're not familiar with Qiskit, I'll um, put some links in the description below to some introductory content and a link to uh, how to install Qiskit. But uh, assuming that you have Qiskit installed, the first thing we're gonna do is from Qiskit, import quantum circuit, which uh, is a class that is going to allow us to define uh, all of our circuits. And then uh, we're gonna use this uh, Qiskit quantum info class, and I'm gonna import the whole thing uh, as QI. Um, because it, it has different classes to define our state vectors, density matrices, operators, and so on and so forth. And um, I'm also going to, um, from Qiskit, visualization, import this function array to LaTeX, um, which is just gonna allow us to take some um, arrays and, and print them nicely in, in uh, LaTeX format. So the first thing, uh, is we said we were gonna initialize uh, our input uh, to state zero one, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna define a state vector. I'm gonna call it psi zero using this state vector class from the quantum info package. And what I'm gonna pass here is a list which is equivalent to the column vector representation of the state. So, you know, for two qubits is a four element column vector and the state zero one is given by zero, one, zero, zero, right? And now if I display my state vector using this draw method, and I can pass here this uh, parameter uh, LaTeX, I can, I can display that um, and, and see that I have uh, defined the, the state correctly, the state zero one correctly. Next, I wanna define the quantum circuit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it QC and do quantum circuit. And I'm gonna say it's a two qubit quantum circuit and I'm gonna apply a Hallamar gate on qubit one and then a CX gate between qubit one and qubit zero. And then I'm gonna draw that circuit. And here I'm gonna have to pass this parameter reverse bits and set it to true because the qubit ordering convention we've been using so far is opposite to what Qiskit uses. So um, that way we get a circuit uh, in the same form that, that we uh, wanted to define. I mean, if I, if I don't pass this, all, all it does is it just 
uh, draws the circuit upside down. So here, um, you know, you just see the CNR gate is, is still from qubit one to qubit zero, but it's just uh, flipped um, vertically. So uh, we're more used to this. So I like to use this reverse bits uh, equal to true. So now having our input state defined, what I want to do is now evolve that state through the circuit. So I'm going to define now a, a different state vector for the output, and I'm going to call it uh, psi, let's say psi1, and I'm going to say psi1 is equal to psi0, and I'm going to use this evolve method. I'm going to evolve that psi0 through our quantum circuit, and then I'm going to uh, just display psi1. And here I use this, this method, draw, um, to do it, but I have pre-configured my, my setup, so I don't have to do that. So if I just hit enter, I, I get this, the same output. And as we can see, after evolving our uh, state through the circuit, we get 1 over root 2, 0, 1, plus 1 over root 2, 1, 0, right? Root 2 over 2 is the same as 1 over root 2. So now what we're interested in is actually the density matrix, right? So now I can define this, this other... Um, variable as row one, and I'm going to use from the Qiskit in, uh, info package. Uh, I'm going to do density matrix. I'm going to use the density matrix class, and I'm just going to pass that uh, state vector, and then I'm just going to display that. So row one, and here we have it. We can see that we get the what we were expecting um, as a density matrix. Now Qiskit has some nice visualization functions and they have incorporated them as methods uh, in, in this uh, density matrix class and, and in the state vector class. So here what I can do is, for example, do row one and then do draw. And instead of writing LaTeX, which would just display this matrix, I can do city, which now will display the state city plot of, of our density matrix. And if I do that, here you can see um, this, this plot, all that it represents is uh, a grid where each of these boxes corresponds to each of the elements in the matrix. And then the height of these bars uh, represents the value of that, of, that uh, of that element. And here we have, you know, real and imaginary parts because our components could be either real, imaginary or complex, right? And, and you know, here in the imaginary side, all, all these elements are at zero. It's just that due to precision, some of them are showing to be a little bit below the plane. Some of them are above the plane. So yeah, so that, that's, um, that's the way you would, uh, you know, convert a, a state vector into a density matrix. But now let's say we, we want to start with a density matrix and just evolve it through our quantum circuit. Well, we do it pretty much the same way. So, you know, let's say I'm going to define this uh, row two um, as, you know, a density matrix. And here, let's say I want the density matrix for the left state, right? We've, we've worked with the left state before. What we can do is um, this density matrix class has a method called from label where there are some predefined um, vectors or uh, some predefined states that, that, that you can use. So for example, you can use zero, one, plus, minus, and here I'm interested in the left state. So let's, let's just write L there. And, and that's just going to give me um, directly the, the density matrix uh, I want, right? So we've done this before, and we can see here that, that that's exactly the, the right output. And, you know, I could now take this and evolve it through a quantum circuit. So let's say I want to evolve this through the S gate, which, as we've seen before, will take the left state to the plus state. Um, so I could, you know, construct a circuit and apply an S gate, but I can also use this operator operator class. So I can I can say, you know, S equal to from the quantum info package, do operator. And I can also use this from label method and just say S. And um, unfortunately, operators in Qiskit, they still don't have this draw method. So that's why I had to import this array to LaTeX function if I want to display it nicely. But here we have it. Here's the, you know, the, the matrix for uh, the S uh, gate. And, you know, now instead of 
passing this through uh, evolving this state through a, a circuit i can evolve it through this s operator i can define this row three equal to say row two dot evolve and pass um, evolve it through the s operator and then let's display row three and then we get this uh, density matrix which is the one corresponding to the plus state right so um, you know, and we can do the, the same for uh, mixed states. So, you know, so far we've, we've looked at two examples of pure states, but if I wanted to define uh, a mixed state, let's say uh, something like one over three times, you know, state uh, zero, zero, right? Uh, plus uh, then, you know, the remaining probability will be two thirds for state uh, one one, right? Let's say let's say I want to define a density matrix for for this mixed state. Um, all I do is is just use the the density matrix class uh, for each of these individual items and multiply them by the uh, probabilities. So I would just do let's call it row four equal to one third times you know qi density matrix dot from label uh, state zero plus and let's just copy this and paste it here and do two thirds of state one and uh, here we just display row four right and um, here we have it that's the density matrix of this mixed state and again I can just evolve it uh, through circuits or or this operators that we sh showed here so for example i can do qi sorry uh let's say you know, row four dot evolve through an operator right qi operator and let's do from label uh let's say the x gate right an x gate um and then you know we get you know this row four evolve through an x gate it just uh flips zero and one so um uh, yeah, so there we have it. Now, so far, you know, we've taken pure states and evolved them through uh, ideal unitaries, mixed states, evolved them through ideal unitaries. But uh, this morning, I actually learned that in Qiskit, you can define noise models that even if you uh, input a pure state, uh, you can output a mixed state similar to the examples we've, we've uh, looked into uh, before where we had this noisy gates. So um, I'm going to, in the next video, I'm going to try to go over how you can construct this, this type of noise models in, in Qiskit, which I think is very interesting. So hope to see you in the next one.